In this video, we're going to look at transistors used in uh, circuits. We call these simple transistor switching circuits, although they're not necessarily that simple. What we have is the transistor uh, in here, some sort of output device, and the input to the transistor, the gate, or it could be the, the base in an NPN transistor, has been controlled by these two resistors here. Now, if we covered up that whole section there and only concentrated on that, we'd hopefully recognise that as a voltage divider circuit. So they're going to split this 5 volts between these two resistors, depending upon the size of the resistances. Remember, for voltage divider circuits, a bigger resistance means a bigger voltage. And what we're going to look at in these circuits is what happens if we change the temperature in these circuits, because these are temperature-dependent circuits, uh, and to try and explain how these circuits work. So I can change the temperature using these arrows here. So if I make it colder, hopefully you remember that the property of a thermistor is when it gets colder, then its resistance increases. We've got to know that fact for starters about thermistors. So I make it colder, the resistance of the thermistor increases. That means that its share of the voltage is going to increase. So we see it's going up to 1.5 volts. If I make it colder again, it goes up to 1.6 volts. And hopefully by now you've kind of spotted the pattern of what's going to happen. Once it gets to 1.8 volts, which is a switching voltage for a MOSFET, then this circuit is automatically going to switch on the heater for us. And now we have basically a central heating system. Okay, which will constantly monitor the temperature using the thermistor in this voltage divider circuit. If the temperature gets too small, then the resistance of the thermistor is going to get larger, which means that the voltage across that thermistor gets larger, and that voltage is the input to the transistor. So when the voltage to the transistor gets large enough, we say the transistor switches on and current can flow to the heater. Remember, it just acts like it's somebody caused a switch between those two points there. So you need to be able to explain how that circuit works. In this one here, we've got the opposite idea in that we've moved the thermistor up to the top half. So if we made this colder, that would make that resistance bigger and that voltage bigger, which would make that voltage smaller. And that wouldn't be particularly useful in this particular circuit. So if we make it hotter, what will happen is the resistance of the thermistor will decrease, which means the voltage across the thermistor will decrease which means that the remaining share of the voltage for this resistor will increase. So if I make it hotter again, 20 degrees, this voltage has gone up to 1.6. Two more clicks. When it reaches 1.8 volts again, then the transistor switches on and current can flow to the fan. So that's basically the idea of how these uh, circuits work. You need to make sure that you explain the change in the resistance of the thermistor first of all, then how that affects the voltage across the thermistor. Then in this second circuit, we need to explain the voltage in the bottom half across the, the variable resistor, because that's the input to the transistor. So the steps again were, as it gets hotter, the ther thermistor's resistance decreases, the voltage across the thermistor decreases, which means the voltage across the variable resistor increases. That is the input to the transistor. So when that voltage gets large enough, the transistor switches on and current can flow to the fan. The reason these are variable resistors in both of these circuits is not that somebody would be sitting there varying them uh, when they're in, in operation, but that would enable you, if you change that resistance, it would change the exact temperature at which this switched on because it would change the, the ratio of resistances in the circuit and therefore the ratio of voltages. So that's what you would use, for instance, in a central heating system to set the temperature at which it switches on or in your uh, fan system here, your uh, climate control system, temp what temperature this one switches on as well. Okay, so you need to be able to explain these two circuits. There's it written out there as well, what we just went through. So the variable resistor is used to enable the cutoff temperatures uh, to be adjusted. If we look at circuits now containing 
um, LDRs rather than thermistors. Similar sort of circuit, this time we're using NPN transistors just to show you that it could be either type. We've got a voltage divider section to the circuit, then the transistor and then an output device. Now we need to be able to go through the, the steps of logic and explain what happens when it goes from light to dust to dark and so on to different light levels. And the key, remember, is to start with the effect that the light levels will have on the resistance of the LDR. Now you might remember that an LDR's properties are that when it gets light, its resistance goes down, so when it gets dark, its resistance goes up. This circuit we've started at light. If I go to dusk, it gets a wee bit darker. That actually gets dark enough just in that one step for this uh, to come on. So when it's dark enough, Right, as it gets darker, the resistance of the LDR increases, the voltage across the LDR increases. That is the input to our transistor. When it's large enough, which remember from the NPN is 0.7, then the transistor switches on, lets somebody close the switch between there, and current can flow to the lamp. Remember the transistor isn't providing that current, that's been provided by the 0 and the 5 volts connections there. It's just like a switch between there and there. Similar sort of idea in, uh, in this circuit, so we're starting at, uh, at dark. Uh, if we make it a wee bit brighter, okay, then the resistance of the LDR goes down, which means the voltage across the LDR goes down, which means the voltage across the variable resistor goes up. But it's not high enough yet, so we'll go into sunshine and the motor switches on. So the light levels increased so much that the resistance of the LDR decreased, the voltage across the LDR decreased, the voltage across the variable resistor increased, and here's a key point, it got above the 0.7 volts for the NPN transistor, which meant the transistor switched on and current could flow to the motor. So there are the steps you need to be able to explain, very similar to the uh, thermistor circuits we were looking at as well. So for instance, this circuit could be an automatic thing which closes blinds when uh, it's, it's sunny. It could be used, for instance, to switch on uh, irrigation pumps when it's sunny, something like that. Okay, I think that's all we need from this section.